Hey, what's up, guys? How y'all doing? I'm back again. I'm doing a quick live stream here on the last uh, University of Hawaii men's basketball uh, road game, which was against the Cal State Bakersfield Roadrunners. And fortunately, Hawaii came away the winners in convincing fashion. In convincing fashion, Axel, actually, they won it sixty-one to fifty. And my feelings on that, that's wonderful. I'm very, very happy that UH was able to get this win. Now, did I think we were going to win this one? Yes. But I knew we also had to play well. So, obviously, I would definitely give them an A, just like against Long Beach State. And for the second game in a row, UH did not succumb to a cold streak. And uh, they were able to come out with uh, not so much a slow start, but uh, they were able to come away with a decent start. They didn't let Cal State Bakersfield get a lead and get comfortable and then end up being forced to rely on the three, like what happened against uh, – against, uh, Cal State Fullerton. But they definitely got a lot of help from their bench, particularly three guys, Beyon Riley, Morsec, and Justice Jackson, with Justice Jackson providing the biggest help of all because he ended up with 16 points, and he was four for five from three-point range. Okay? So... Obviously, that was a great performance for Justice Jackson. It was a career high and the best I'd seen from him since the UC Davis opener when he had about 15. And he even had a triple at the buzzer in that game, and that was at home. That was back in December, on December 29th. And he really came through and provided a lot of help because our two leading scorers, Noel Coleman and Bernardo Da Silva, they didn't score at all in that game, which was a big, big surprise to me because normally it's either one of those two who leads the team or Kamaka Hepa or Samutsa Avea, the two team captains. Tonight, it was somebody off the bench, and that was Justice Jackson with 16. And I thought that was a big way to prove that that the state of Hawaii should not forget about him in the off season because he certainly put himself on the radar for my view, but we really had to uh, a scrap and claw here because Bakersfield, they had won four of their last five. And, uh, and look what we did. We held them to a season low, a conference season low 50 points in the last five games which was a big statement. And I thought, wow, that's a that's another noteworthy stat and one that you don't normally hear about in your average basketball game. Just like against UC Davis at home, where we ended up having a real block party with 12 blocks in that game. In contrast, UC Davis, they didn't get a single one. So I was very, very happy then. And I was very, very happy with this performance because I have to admit they looked, they have looked much, much better in the past two games than they've looked all throughout conference season. And I would like to think that they've made some leaps and bounds in that department. So obviously we're definitely uh, doing well there. In fact, uh, our best start actually goes back to uh, the second game of the season against Cal Poly, where we jumped out to a 16-0 lead. And despite that, it was a deceiving first half because we ended up making only six buckets in that game, not counting the free throws. Okay, so obviously that was good. But I still thought a 16-0 start, that's a great one. And despite Cal Poly came back towards the end in that half, we still came through and won. 
So I was very, very pleased then. And like I said, I am very pleased with their performance. I actually, I do believe that in these past two games, they have shown that they can come through with a complete 40 minutes. And that's actually the second topic I have on this. All right, guys. Did we get a complete 40? I'm going to say yes for the second time this season. To, because, to be frank, I really thought that UH had a complete 40 minutes against UC Riverside on the road last month. Because, now, I'm going to compare this here. Now, first of all, Riverside here. They led just about start to finish. They did not subject themselves to a, to a slow start. They did not subject themselves to a cold streak. And they were able to stay in close proximity. And once they took the lead, they didn't surrender it. They defended very, very well in that first half at Riverside. Now, in the second half, Riverside briefly took the lead. But UH responded and took it back immediately. And that was very, very important for my view. Because from what I saw, Rivers, because from what I could deduce anyway, Riverside was certainly taken out of their rhythm. And they could not recover the lead again. And any time Riverside made runs at the University of Hawaii, the Rainbow Warriors were ready for them. And we even had some luck on our side as well. In the final 10 seconds, when you Riverside, they had three chances to possibly take the lead. And we came through with a very, very slow or a very slim Victory, 67-63. And as you saw in my live stream there, I was very pleased because Jovan McClanahan got the rebound and was fouled and made the two free throws down the stretch. And as a result, we stopped a Riverside win streak. And I'm very, very happy about that. Now, for this game, Cal State Bakersfield, did we get off to a slow start? No. Did we suffer a cold? Did we suffer a significant cold streak at all? No. We kept in close. We didn't let them get away. We kept in close proximity. And on top of all that, we managed to get some help from the bench after Coleman and De Silva didn't score at all. And as a matter of fact, Jovan McClanahan was the only one of the starters who broke 10 points. He had 15, including a sweet half-court heave at the end of the first half, which went in to add more insult to injury on Cal State Bakersfield because the shooting started coming back towards the end of the first half. And they traded threes. They even traded some twos. And as a result, UH ended up in front, which I thought was very important. And... Bakersfield, they did try and come back, but fortunately, UH was ready anytime they made a move. And I thought that was a very good uh, response by the University of Hawaii because that was probably the that was probably the most uh, consistent playing that I've seen from them. So so Obviously, I thought we got a complete 40 minutes against Long Beach State, even though we did win by a very slim margin of 70-67. And that was off of Jadon Jones three-pointer from around half court that just danced out, thankfully, because UH managed to get two wins over them. If you saw my last live stream, I was very, very pleased and at the same time, I did feel for Jadon Jones, believe me. And I'll tell you this, that even included a sweet, the, the Bakersfield game even included a really sweet lob from Beyond Riley to Morsec, the 7-1 Morsec. And uh, I was very, very happy about that. I do believe Morsec 
is starting to come around. That was probably the best I've seen him look since the Diamond Head Classic Championship when he had nine points that night. And uh, and although he only ended up with three, there were three valuable points. And Beyond Riley came off the bench after missing two games with a lower leg injury. We could have used him against Cal State Fullerton. And it turned out we didn't need him in the game prior to that. I forget which one it was. Might have been Long Beach State. I'm not quite sure. But anyway, do I think we got a complete 40 minutes? I do. I do believe we got a complete 40 minutes because Bakersfield, they were shorthanded, but they're, but they're certainly never short of heart, grit, determination, etc. They're just like us from the 2021 season where we were down two guys and we had to really scrap and claw our ways into some wins and even got some wins that we didn't think we'd get, or at least I didn't think we'd get anyway. But like I said, I do believe we got a complete 40 minutes. Did I think we'd win against Cal State Bakersfield? Yes, because they've been struggling a lot, but not like Cal Poly. They won the first game of their season, and since then, they've been coming up blank. So obviously, we have just a few games left, only two more home games against uh, Riverside, and senior night is UC Irvine on February 25th. So do I think we'll win those? I do believe we'll win against Riverside because we do have the crowd on our side. And I do think we owe, and, and I do think we certainly have a point to prove against UC Irvine because we didn't have a lot of luck in that game, in that road game at their place. Because that was probably one of the messiest games I've, I'd ever seen from the University of Hawaii, maybe next to Cal State Fullerton at, on the road and again at home. But one can hope that we have certainly uh, exercised those demons about uh, the starts and the cold streaks because I do think we took a lot of leaps and bounds on this road trip, not going to lie. So, in short, we did, we came away with two big road victories, one at the buzzer from uh, Jadon Jones at, at Long Beach State that did not go. And we came away with a convincing 11 point win over Cal State Bakersfield. And uh, I thought we got close to a complete 40 in uh, Long, in the Long Beach State game, but I do believe that we got a complete 40 minutes against Cal State Bakersfield. In fact, I do believe that we got a complete 40 minutes twice this season at Riverside and at Bakersfield. I'm going to say that right now. So both games definitely get an A for me. Uh, we were able to uh, keep our lead and we were able to prop to play as best as probably the best we did since the Diamond Head Classic or even the opening two home games. Okay. So anyway, guys, that's it. And I'll see you all again for uh, a Thursday night on uh, the 23rd. And, uh, and uh, I hope we come away with this win over Riverside and hopefully get two wins over them for a change. So, and we definitely need to get back on uh, UC Irvine because they took something away that I feel rightfully belonged to them winning at their place. But we got the crowd on our side this time. I think we can do it. So for now, all I'm upon everyone.